Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about blend states in animation inside of Unity 5 for 2D animation, uh, which is one of the things I'm using here. So what a blend state is, is uh, basically you can apply multiple different sprite animations um, to be in one grouping, and that grouping is the blend state. So within a blend state, it might all have uh, like is walking checked regardless of which part of that state you happen to be running but depending on your x and y axes which i think is probably one of the most useful occurrences of blend state um, the direction and the an exact animation that's going to be playing like the walk down walk right walk left and walk up is going to be determined by those x and y variables so if we go to the animator within Unity, we can see the setup I have currently going on. So I have an idle blend tree. And by the way, you create a tree by going right click, create state, new blend tree. And I also have a walk tree. Now one of the advantages of having these is that with this grouping of four animations and this grouping of four animations, one for each direction, I can have them transition between each other uh, very simply just by having one condition for each group rather than having uh, different conditions going between them and it becoming a lot more messy. Um, and likewise, if move fall uh, is moving, uh, ends up turning false, then it goes back to the idle tree. And if it is moving, it will go into the walk tree. So within those trees, you have the blend tree which you can set the blend type up here. It, it defaults to 1D, not actually sure what you would use 1D for, but here I have 2D simple directional, which means uh, we take two parameters, in this case, the X and Y input, and depending on how close it is to any of those, uh, basically the points, it's going to play a certain animation. So whichever one it's closest to is the animation that's gonna get played. So if it's close to the point down at the bottom, it's going to play the idle down animation on loop. If it's towards the right, it'll play idle right, idle left, idle top, or idle up at the top. And um, how it works is basically it just calculates between these points which one has the most uh, impact or say in the matter. So if I put it kind of here, although you could argue that it is in the direction of the top, it's much closer to the right than it is the top. Much like if you have a, uh, a joystick on like a PlayStation 3 controller or something like that, and you move it to the different sides or corners, um, it will have that same kind of movement. So if we go back to the base layer and double click on the walk tree, you'll see that it's essentially the same thing here. Walk down if it's closest to the bottom, walk up if it's closest to the top, walk left, and walk right. So in order to do this, you would have to add in two different parameters uh, for a 2D blend. It can be whatever you want. It doesn't actually need to be the um, 2D directional. You could have taking, let's just say, two press down keys um, like X and Y or well, no, let's use a better example, A and B. And if you have A and B uh, pressed down at the same time, then it would play a special animation. If it's A, maybe it only jumps, and if it's B, maybe it's only shoot. And if it's nothing, then maybe it plays the idle animation or just the regular running animation. That would be another good example for this. Here you can also see that it works well for other animations that may be transitioning into your tree. So these outside things that aren't a tree themselves and maybe only have one animation, um, you only need to have them send into that tree once, and then the tree will figure out which part of the tree is going to play, whether it's going to be the idle up or idle down animation. Now, of course, at the end of the day, you still have to create uh, the animations themselves. So if you're doing a sprite-based game, then you do need to animate um, every single frame for that sprite but the blend state actually makes it work together in game. So the end result is you'll get something like this. And hopefully you'll be able to get your animations to work fairly smoothly together. So I've been Chris. That was just a quick look at blend states in Unity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my future videos.